Good morning, you guys. It is 5.30 a.m. and we are in the beautiful Venice, Italy. Now, this is our favorite city in the entire world for one reason, and that is that there are no cars, no trucks, no motorcycles, not even lime scooters or bikes because the entire city is only canals, bridges, and ancient pedestrian walkways. This city is the ultimate city for runners and hikers, but the only roadblock is that by 9.30 a.m., this place is swarming with people. So that gives us about three and a half to four hours to explore as much of this city as we can before the crowds descend. So let's get running. Well guys, behind us, you can see a first major landmark, which is the infamous Bridge of Sighs. And that is the bridge where people would cross from the Doge's palace into the prison <laughs> when they were convicted of a crime after being interrogated. And they would sort of sigh as they looked out the window for the last time. Aww. It was very sad, but very famous bridge right there. And that means we're getting really close to St. Mark's Place. Awesome. <laughs> The seagulls were like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just us and the seagulls right now. These and they are loud. Crazy. <laughs> what are these seagulls on? <laughs> right behind us, you can see St. Mark's Basilica, probably the most famous thing in Venice. Yeah. Um, in addition to St. Mark's Square, where we now are and are running around. And this is St. Mark's Campanile. Big, tall, beautiful building. Oh my gosh. So all the crowds it's here. really amazing so this has been a super great treat and uh, let's keep running and see what else yeah. we can get to Alto Bridge, all to ourselves. Oh yeah, this is why you get up early, you guys. <laughs> it was originally made of wood, and then it fell down. Oh, no. <laughs> it collapsed oh, no. several wow, hundred years ago. So sad. But it is kind of cool because then they rebuilt it with stone yeah. and it is absolutely gorgeous. We'll see if we can get a shot for you guys from down below and you can see how pretty the bridge is. Beautiful. And they actually say that it leans as much as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It really looks like it's going to fall over. It really does. It's kind of sketch. <laughs> Would not want to go stand under that for too long. A lot of stairs, at least. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this.
that beautiful dome you see behind us is part of the Santa Maria della Salute oh boy. Basilica. <laughs> there was a massive plague in 1630 and they're like, there's a plague, everyone's dying, what are we gonna do? And they're like, let's build a church. And they right. built this beautiful thing. I might have gone with a vaccine, but uh, in 1630 they went with the church. At least we benefit from it now. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> What's the vaccine going to do for us in 400 years? Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the Church of Health, St. Mary of Health. Oh, my goodness. Is this gorgeous or is this gorgeous? Yeah. Wow. You can see, is that the island of Judecha? I think it is. Wow. Well, I hope you guys can see how beautiful it is to run here. Ah, I love it here. It's a nice breeze, but I am still really starting to sweat. That is the other reason to start at 5.30 a.m., you guys. It is like 95 degrees here today. It's already super hot. And the sun just barely came out. So I'm pretty sure that the reason that all these, like, decorations are up was because there was a festival this weekend called the Festival de Redentor. It's a redemption festival after a plague in Italy. And Adam and I were walking around this weekend. And we're like, oh my God, what are all these parties? What is happening? There are so many people. Let's just go to bed. So we went to bed at like nine o'clock and at midnight we get woken up by all of these fireworks it was like a 45 minute fireworks show <laughs> but of course that's me and adam just like going to bed at 9 p 9 p.m in venice <laughs> always missing the party <laughs> we definitely miss the party you guys but we heard the fireworks <laughs> we heard really good fireworks <laughs> <laughs> at least thought it was some kind of predator or she didn't know what was going on oh my God. <laughs> Elise racing one of the boats out on the canal. I think the boat's gonna win. <laughs> well, this route skirting around the edge of the island is the perfect route for runners. It's very hard to run through the streets because there's so many twists and turns. You don't know where the heck you're going. It's an incredible to walk through there. Yeah. And we're gonna be doing that later. Mm -hmm. But running wise, this is the place. This Just is running the spot. along, you got the cool ocean breeze. Oh, it's amazing. Gorgeous. Elise, are you sad to leave the waterfront behind? I am, but I'm also excited to get back into the alleyways, even though I think we're going to get lost like a million times today. <laughs> this is a fun one to run on, isn't it? Oh gosh, when it's just you and the canal, it's amazing. It really is. One of the funnest things about Venice is that you know what you're gonna get. Sometimes there's just no bridge or it looked like it was gonna go through and it doesn't. We call this a good old fashioned cliff bunk. <laughs> this, this town was constructed 500 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, there's no cars for them to worry about. The, the alleyways just wind around yeah, crazily. Yeah, the, the GPS cannot handle it. The GPS cannot handle it. It just but, freaks out. But it's actually a really fun aspect of it. It's just yeah. wandering and getting lost in these alleyways. Yeah. All right, we gotta find another way across this canal. They get really narrow. Oh my God. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know whether to trust the GPS or not. It's like going through a slot canyon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it totally is. Oh wait, at least stop. What? This is it. What? The Pont de la Tête. What is this? This is the famous bridge where the prostitutes used to hang out. What? Yeah, this was like, this was the spot. This was like the red light bridge. Why did you want to take me here? I just think it's fun. It's interesting. Are you trying to hustle us up some money? Hey, you know what? If that, if it will keep us on vacation, I will do what I, I will do what has to be done. I'll sacrifice you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. 
I think people already voted that they did not need to see any more of your dance moves. <laughs> no, they voted that they did. I don't know. <laughs> I think I begged to differ with the that. Votes were highly in favor of more Adam. Oh Adam. no. Especially pole dancing at the Ponte de la Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> One of the coolest things about this city, you guys. I'm sure you can tell. I hope you can tell from the footage is just. The real star is the streets and the canals, yeah. right? I mean, every every city has its beautiful buildings right. and stuff, and we've shown you some of those, but it's just the little individual streets with all the hundreds and hundreds of years of history. Mm -hmm. Such an amazing place. Yeah. And if you listen, it's still so quiet because there are no cars, no nothing, yeah. just people. The sound of trickling water. Beautiful. We're now in the San Remo section. We started in San Marco, mm -hmm. then we went to the Dorsadoro, mm -hmm. both more popular and touristy. This area is a little bit quieter, so beautiful. And next we're gonna head over to uh, Canarezio, mm -hmm. which is the ancient Jewish ghetto. That'll be kind of interesting. You guys can tell how much Adam loves this city. He's like done all the research, it's so cute. He's like uh, Googling every evening. It's my favorite city, it really yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, back across the Rialto Bridge. So many stairs. So many stairs. So many stairs. <laughs> Gorgeous though. Yeah. Oh, this is it. What is this, Elise? This is the Calle Varisco. It's the smallest, narrowest street in the whole city. It's only 21 inches wide. And they say, if you have an impure soul, you should not walk through because the walls will come in and crush you. Oh, then you go first, because I don't want to be in there with you. <laughs> what? You think they're going to crush in on me? <laughs> they might. You're the one who took us to the Bridge of Prostitutes. <laughs> I think everyone saw what was going on over there. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'm going in and I think it's going to go well for me. All right, well, now we're in it together because I'm in too. <laughs> no, get out of here. You better hold my thoughts are pure. Get out of the wall with me. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. We're going to get the box. And, and. Oh, we need a boat. <laughs> <laughs> now we need a boat. You can swim across and grab us that one. Maybe I will. <laughs> well, I think everyone is quite surprised that we actually both made it through that alive. <laughs> I want to know which one of us you guys thought would get crushed. <laughs> For him. Yeah, probably <laughs> She looks innocent, but no. All right, so that's part of Can Reggio, a yeah. little bit more. A little bit more, And then yeah. maybe a snack. I'm ready for a cappuccino. <laughs> We have made it to the ghetto Ibriiko, mm -hmm. which is where Jewish people were confined since about the Renaissance wow. <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, I mean, even though we both went to Catholic school for a number of years, mm -hmm. I think we can acknowledge that Catholics were not always chill. Not <laughs> and, and so, in addition to all the beautiful, incredible churches and stuff mm -hmm. that we've seen, we wanted to come to this place and acknowledge hundreds of years of persecution mm -hmm. um, and survival. Right. So yeah, this is great. True. This is the heart of Cantoreggio. Yeah. We are um, wearing down as it heats up. Yeah. So our next thing is to find ourselves a snack spot. Oh my gosh, please. Let's Espresso. go. Let's go. We are in San Polo, which is the fifth of the Sestieris. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it, it means there's six sections of the city. This is the fifth one we'll have been going through this morning. We're making and, our way through all of them, huh? Yeah, because well, we're staying in Castello, so we're going to end back at our place in Castello. Um, and now we're going to go through San Polo, show you some of that, and get a snack. Oh my gosh, you guys. This cappuccino is the snack that I need. Mm. 
It's so good. Adam and I are becoming total caffeine addicts living in Italy where the cappuccinos are this darn good. It's so true. I never even drink caffeine except Italy. I have one every single day. Oh, I cannot wait to get into this. Oh, oh my gosh. You are way too large for this city. Well, the tourists are now out in force, but that's okay because we have made it to the sixth and final Sestriere, the Castello Sestriere. And the guy who rented us our Airbnb calls this where the real people live. By real people, I'm pretty sure he means Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're real people. I don't really know anymore. <laughs> I don't know if we can as real. But in any case, this is a gorgeous Sestriere. It is beautiful and it is not full of tourists. Like, yeah all the others. So we're going to take you along the waterfront to Venice's biggest and most beautiful park, which goes all along the water. It should be absolutely lovely. Let's go. Elise now standing in front of the infamous Donkey Kong sculpture. It's <laughs> first sculpted in 1782. <laughs> <laughs> so Italian. So it is kind of Italian though, because like, yeah, because that's where Mario Kart originally comes from, like Donkey Kong. What? Like Mario and Luigi, that yeah. originally was Donkey Kong. But like it's Italian inspired, like I don't think it's like actually Italian culture. Nah, no it isn't, but that is definitely a Donkey Kong looking ape. That's all I'm telling you. Oh my god. I love that you just like totally expected to see DK here. You're like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> We have made it to Giardini Public, yes. which I assume means public garden. I think so. <laughs> I think you got that one. Check it out. It's so beautiful. You got the water, you got statues. Huh? Oh my good yeah. This is park. fantastic. And no one around. I mean, it's yeah. too early for that. Everyone's yeah. flocking now to the places where we were at 5.30. Yeah. Uh, but this is deserted. Beautiful, yeah. great place for a run or a hike. Let's keep going. Yeah. Well, Unlike most humans, Adam does not feel that a half marathon is enough for him. He also feels compelled to stop at every single pull-up bar he sees for a little pump. You are so extra. No, no. You never can do pull-ups with a better view than this. It is so unnecessary. Extra. That's the definition of extra. We could not even get a half mile before Adam found yet another pull-up bar, this time with an exquisite view of the island of Lido in the background. So of course you know he could not resist. This is my kind of place. Oh boy. Oh my God, one of the things I love most about Venice is just how old school everything is. Not only are there no cars or trucks or anything, there's also no dryers. Everyone hangs their laundry out over the street. It's, it's so, so cute. It's so cute. I love it. Absolutely love it. So picturesque. Okay, you guys, that was all six Venice Sestrieres. All right. Just about a full half marathon by mm -hmm. the time we make it back to our little Airbnb. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need an entire marathon to do Venice because it's yeah. a pretty small city. Yeah. But if you want a full marathon, just do our route twice. <laughs> Definitely do that, guys. <laughs> I want to know what your favorite Sestriere was. Ooh, I really love the Dorsadero because I love that bridge in the morning with the sunrise over the canal. It's just gorgeous. How yeah, you? that was really nice. I like Castello because our Airbnb host was right. It is yeah. the one with all the Italians. We didn't hear a single word of English the no, entire time true. we were exploring it. True. And it has the infamous Donkey Kong sculpture. Oh, no. Sculpted by Michelangelo's lesser known brother, Luigi Michelangelo. <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> you guys, are you starting to realize how stupid of a sense of humor Adam has? <laughs> 
I think he's actually like a five-year-old. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to know what your guys' favorite yeah. <laughs> site was. Okay, and if you've been here and we missed something, please let us know. Yeah, let us know and we'll see you guys next time. See you next time on the trail. Fun and I